The 1950s. It was the birth of rock and roll. Elvis was the king. We liked Ike and loved Lucy. This was the decade of optimism and prosperity. Rationing and the attitude of make do and mend was over, and with it came unprecedented prosperity and vastly improved standards of living. American manufacture was booming, as were American families. This was the decade of the baby boom, with returning GIs getting married and starting families. Women in the 1950s experienced a dramatic cultural shift from the roles they played just a few years prior. During the war, they were Rosie the Riveter, women on the home front filling in for our boys overseas. But when the boys came home, Rosie turned into June Cleaver. In the 50s, women returned to their traditional roles as wives and mothers. Donor Fran Mayhew remembers, we were being trained to be elegant hostesses in order to help advance our husband's careers. Women's fashion in the 1950s reflected this attitude. Women were expected to be perfectly groomed models of femininity. Women's dress emphasized the feminine ideal in the form of the hourglass silhouette. Many women wore restrictive foundation garments, including girdles and padded bras, in order to achieve this look. Bodices were fitted, waists were cinched, and skirts were either very snug or very full. Popular styles for the evening were dresses like this one from the American designer Charles James, with skirts extending to the floor and tulle or crinoline petticoats to maintain their full shape. This silhouette was very popular with teenagers for prom, and where this dress from donor Fran Mayhew was first worn. This dress from 1958 was worn by Dr. Mayhew to her Palmyra, New Jersey high school junior prom. Dr. Mayhew, a fashion and apparel studies professor at the University of Delaware from 1976 to 2009, wore this dress a second time, pictured here, to the Lafayette College Military Ball while a freshman at UD. This strapless dress is a perfect example of the classic 1950s silhouette. It features a sweetheart neckline with white tulle ruching. The bodice and overskirt are red velvet with scalloped hem and oversized bow at center back waist. The dress is seen here with a crinoline petticoat giving fullness to the tulle and satin lined skirt. Dr. Mayhew chose this dress for her prom because she loved the color red and thought this was, quote, such a pretty dress.